Hey, welcome back. So now that we are authenticated, we need to show that the user is authenticated here. And then we need to get rid of the login and sign up uh, links as well once the user is authenticated. Now we need a very simple way to check these things so that we don't have uh, to suffer. So what I would do is, because right now, uh, let's go to the login controller. Okay, there we are. So right now what we did is we did this in order to know that we are, whether we are logged in or not. Now, if uh, we did this to log in rather, so we saved data in this. So now we just need to check in the session to see if user data exists and it has valid data in order to uh, know that we are properly authenticated. Now, the problem with this is uh, we'll have to do, uh, this is too much code to type just to check because we'll have to check if this is empty and then check if it has valid data, etc., etc. So it would be better to have a class we create that will handle all that even here. So even here, what we will do is I want to remove this uh, in the login. This is the login controller. Instead of doing this, I want to create a class named auth like this for short for authentication. It's easier to deal with. And then we're going to access this class in a static way because normally we access a class by doing, by saying this, we say, um, uh, my class is equal to new class like this, right? And then we go ahead and say my class, and then we run a function. Like in this case, we want the function authenticate like this. Okay, so instead of having to do all this, we are going to skip this part and access this auth class in a static manner. What it means is that it's going to be a class, but we will not need to instantiate it like we are doing now because there's really no need. Uh, we don't need to create instances of this class because we just need uh, one class to handle everything in here at the same time. So there should only be one instance of this class. So in order to have just one instance, we're going to access it uh, what in a manner we call as static. So I'll copy this from here, I'll copy. So to access uh, a class in a static manner, you you replace the pointer with a double full colon like this, colon, 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 like that. So we're going to do the same thing here and put authenticate like so. And then we're going to put our data in there like this. So this is how we are going to authenticate our user. So this class does not exist. So we have to create it and then specify that we will be accessing this in a static manner so that we are allowed to do this. And then we'll create a function called authenticate, which will accept a, an object containing the user's data. So in order for this to work, uh, what we'll do is let's go to classes and right inside model, let's right click and say new file in the models and PHP. Let's save this class as oath with a capital A dot PHP. Okay, so in here, I will create a class. Uh, I'll call it authentication class. And this will not extend any other class, it'll just be the class oath. And every function we create here, we should uh, specify that this function is either public, as we've already been doing, but we should also tell it that this is static function at the same time. That way we can be allowed to do this without getting uh, any errors. Okay, so I'm going to copy this as it is and paste it there. Okay, great. So we have authentication class. Now we're telling it to authenticate a user with this. So exactly what we had done here, though I don't know why I deleted that code, is what we would do in this function instead. So I'm just going to say session user underscore data, and then is equal to row. Great. Now it could be nice to check if row is an object before we try to uh, do anything. If is object row, just good practice, yeah. 
and then let's authenticate. Great, that's all we needed to do. But then we can use the same uh, class to do things like uh, check if somebody is an admin, uh, check if somebody is um, uh, logged in. So let's do the same thing. So public static function, uh, public static, all these will be static functions. Uh, in this case, I want another function called um, logged in. Yeah, very original. So this function is just to check if I'm logged in or not, as simple as that. So all I need to check is if this exists and that's it. So I'll say if is set or if not empty, because not empty will check if is set anyway. So if not empty that, and then we return uh, true, as simple as that. Otherwise we return false. Okay, great. So we check if we are logged in. Also, we can check if we are an admin using this same method. So I'm just going to duplicate this public static function is admin. Simple as that. And with is admin, we check first of all if this is not empty, and then we check another if statement if uh, we say if that because this is an object remember so we use the pointer and we say row uh, so if that row is equal to admin then this guy is an admin so and by the way uh if this is valid code right here if there's only one line in the if statement i don't need to put the brackets but it's always just good practice okay so if that is true, row is admin, then true, you are an admin. Logged in, authenticate. Okay, so at least this gives us some good foundation for the, uh, we'll add a few more functions here, but for now this will do. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the login and um, yes, authenticate should work, very good. And of course we need the logout uh, controller as well. So I'm going to go to the home controller, copy everything, uh, right click in controllers, new file, paste, and I'm going to change all instances of home. We don't even need the title for this because it's not really a page. Uh, it's just logout and I'll write logout class. It doesn't even need a view at all. All we are doing is removing the authentication. So I'll call this one logout.php. And then all we are doing now is we'll say oath logout, just like that, right? Oath logout, and then let's redirect the user to maybe, I don't know, uh, the home page or the login page. That's entirely up to you where you want to take the user, but maybe let's go to the home page for now. Simple as that for the logout function. Now we need to create the logout auth, of course. So right next to where we are authenticating, we can simply duplicate this and then put logout there. So logout, and we don't need to supply anything to it. So if object, no, we're not checking for that. We're checking for this, okay? So if, uh, this is set, if not empty, yeah, make sure you have enough brackets there. If not empty, then unset. So we unset this. Sometimes it doesn't work very well. So you may have to do session regenerate or session um, unset like this or session regenerate ID, just to be sure. If in case this doesn't work by itself, uh, you log out, you can regenerate the session. Now, you may not always want to do this, this session unset and regenerate because uh, maybe this is a shopping uh, thing. Somebody has bought something and they have, they have something in their cart and you still want to identify them when they are logged out to know what's in their cart, then uh, this will delete all that. 
So there might be some session information you want to keep. In that case, don't use this because this will just erase the entire uh, uh, session. So just do this if you're having trouble with this alone. Okay, great. So we can log out, we can authenticate, that is good. But let's fix a few problems we found when logging in because we are not uh, encrypting the password number one and the row wasn't good. So I'm going to go to operations and truncate this table once more and let's fix those problems in the next video.